now we still know boys at all. <laughs> but I understand uh, everyone came from came from work and everyone is tired. But our heart is full of joy. Amen. 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 Who is excited Amen. to be here every Tuesday? Talagaba. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.
single things, Panginoon, in our heart, Panginoon. Para makapagpigil, magpubig sa iyo, Panginoon, Lord, at pinilibigyo in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, O God. Because right this moment, O God, our heart desire, O God, is to be in your mighty presence in this place. And I know we cannot do it, O God, that you will do something tonight, O God. Hallelujah. And Lord, remember our brothers and sisters as on the way that your rabbi protection be upon them, O God. Be them safe and sound in this place, O God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. And we pass everything to you tonight, O God. All we ask in the name of this, in prayer, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we give a clap of praise to all of you, God? Can you see your uh, right side and left side? That's the same people that's with No? So before we start, you can tell them in advance. See you next week. So remember, ask those people who are on the left hand side. So that they can escape this next week. Amen? Why are we seeing this song? Let us start to love our friends. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen?
Amen. And uh, let us start. What do we begin? If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with Him in glory. Circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, slave nor 
we Let's begin in our uh, 
verse 1 to 3. It says here, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you die and your life is hidden with Christ in God. What does it mean to set our mind on the things above? In other translation, set your heart not on the things that on the earth. It's very simple that if we need or if we uh, want to set our mind, we must follow Jesus. Diba sabi dun sa kanta, no? Jesus is the center of my life. Amen? At sabi ko doon, and everything revolves around you. It means, our life should revolve only to Jesus. Amen? And not on the earth. No? Because if we want to be a citizen of heaven of, or the kingdom of God, we need to do yung heavenly ways of living. Not the worldly ways of living. Sa Tagalog pa, gawin natin yung mga langit na pamumuhay, hindi yung mga mundo pamumuhay. Amen? Next. And also, it calls us to make decisions about the way we think. That's why it says that in this uh, translation in New King, King James, it mentioned that set your mind. It's very important about the way we are thinking. Because this is a decision. Following Jesus is a decision. Amen? If there's someone only pushing you or telling you, Oh, kuya or ate, you need, you need to follow Jesus. It's different. We need to do a decision by ourselves. Amen? And also, yeah. In Romans chapter 8, verses 5 to 8, For those who live according to the flesh, set their mind on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it's not the subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Amen, di ba? It's very clear that if we are setting our mind to the flesh, amen, what will happen to us? It says the law is dead. Eh, kung yung mamamatay pa kami. Imagine, mga kapatid, when we are in darkness, when we, we are still in sinner, we are spiritually dead. Amen. But if we will put our mind, it says there, it's spiritually, we need to think spiritually. And we need to live spiritually, in a spiritual way. Amen? Yeah. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. But sabi doon, kuya, in the verse 1, you, I raised, sabi doon, no? I raised with Christ. Halikan natin. Yeah. If then you were raised with Christ, and now here it says, for you died. It means we, already, we are already died. Amen. And we are now a new creation with Christ. And it says there, you know, brother and sister, if we are thinking that we are sinner, God didn't see us that we are sinner. Because why? It says there, you know, your life is hidden now with Christ in God. Imagine mo, nandito na sa harap lang mo, and just God, and He is looking to you with Christ. Amen? That's why it says, no, even whatever uh, sin that you uh, commit or you have in first John, uh, John 1 John 1.9, no? if you confess your sin, He is faithful and just, and He will cleanse you and purify you in all unrighteousness. Amen? Tano, tingin niyo po ba yung, if you think the heavenly drunker, ayan, heavenly drunker, He can go in heaven. One, you don't need to answer, but uh, let's say yes. No, the problem is if you don't know how to go home because he's a heavenly drunker. How much more for going to heaven? 
Amen. But seriously, he is seen a light. What we see in one way, right? In John 46, he is the only way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. So if the drunker, if the drunker man having Jesus in his life, for sure, he can bow to heaven as well. Amen? Amen, Bob? Amen. You're so very serious. <laughs> yeah. And in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It's, it is no longer I who live, I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. See, we are already crucified with Christ. Amen. And see, it's no longer us who lives, but we are living by our pain. The place that we have is our pain. Amen. That's why tonight I will share some points. What the things that we need to put to them and what the things that we need to put up. Yeah. So, things we need to put to death or to put off while following Jesus. So, by following Jesus pala, we need to yun, taba, taba, kasi may tatanggalin tayo ng bagay. Amen? We need to remove something in our life. Amen? Imagine, Jesus removed His being God. Amen? Ino ba niya yung pagkadyos niya, di ba? And He clothed all our sin. Hindi siya makasalanan. He is not sinner. He is blemish. Uh, I'm blemish, sorry. But how much more for us? We, if we cannot unclose those sins that we have. And now, let's close, close, or close the character of Jesus Christ. Amen? So, things we need to put to death. First is, Put to death your, your flesh. That's why I mentioned uh, that we need to put to death our flesh. Amen? It will say, oh, now you are, we are living uh, flesh but to pay. That's why here in, in verse 5 of Colossians chapter 3, it's, it says, Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire and covetousness which is idolatry because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the son of disobedience in which you yourself once walked when you live in them so put to death is, it means is necro to make something dead you know pala means we need to do something or it means that some might something our attitude our character that we need to be dead amen this is the meaning of necro necro and what are those things that we need to put to death first is fornication and the definition of fornication according to maguluguru is sexual intercourse between people not married to each other. And we know naman, especially in this country. Amen. And di na po malalayo. We are, I'm also once on this. But praise be to God, no? Uh, we ask for that forgiveness, we repent, and through Jesus Christ, in His way, we fix this sin and this problem of our life. Amen? Imagine sexual intercourse between people not married to each other. So, it's a reminder, especially sa ating mga teenager or we can say youth. Amen? So, but of course, for all of us. Next is uncleanness. It means morally or spiritually impure. Impure means morally wrong, especially in sexual matters. 
So whatever kind of sexual matter which is raw, it's uncleanness. Amen? Next, passion. Overly passionate, negative passion is often unpleasant and it can involve pain. There are also obsessive forms that can destroy ourselves and even others. I'll give you a good example. Might you hear some news, especially in Philippines, that the one person is uh, really admiring one particular girl and it caused uh, him to that lady to make uh, you know a crime. Amen. And you know what kind of a crime? In according to the Philippine law, that is crime of passion or passion of crime. Amen. Because see it's here. There are also obsess obsessive for that can destroy ourselves and even other. If we have too much passion of one thing, it might can harm us as well. And if we are passionate of one thing, it might also can harm others as well. Amen? So we need to put to death that passion. Sorry? Next is covetousness. Hey, we deserve that. We deserve that. Evil desire, yeah. The wish or longing to do something forbidden. If you are thinking and we are wishing to do something that is forbidden, this is all is evil desire. If we are you doing this fornication, this is part of evil desire as well. Amen. It's very simple. Evil desire is totally unacceptable to God. Next is covetousness. A strong wish to have something, especially something that belongs to someone else. Now, marami ito. Lord, kitin mo na siya. Sabi nga dyan, no? You are putting yourself in covetousness. Because pag mamayari na siya ng iba. Diba? Ayan, no? A strong wish to have something, especially something that belongs to someone else. Pray ka ng pray, but you are praying in the wrong motives or in the wrong way. Of course, what God will do, He will never answer your prayer. Amen. Next. And po. Yan. This is the things that we need to put to death. Amen. This is those fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire. Why we need to put to death those things? Because... It says in Romans chapter 8, 13, For if you live according to the flesh, which, the, which is those uh, uh, character, no? you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Amen? And it's also mentioned in uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 24, Those who belong to Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passion and desire. Amen. In, in the early part, no, we already say that we want to follow Jesus and we are crucified. We are a new creation. Now it says there, they are crucified. We should crucify already the flesh with its passion and desire, which is the wrong things. Amen. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1, Therefore, since we have this promise, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminate, contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence of God. Do you think, brother and sister, if we have those kind of what I mentioned, the fornication and cleanliness, the evil desire, the covetousness, it cannot contaminate our body. Literally, imagine for that kind of fornication or sexual intercourse to the other, which is not your partner, what will happen to you? What will happen to you? Diba? Baraka, pwede tayo magkaroon ng sakit. See, that contaminates our body and especially our spirit. Amen? Okay. 
กี้ได I just want to add this. Why we want? Why we need to put to death? Because in uh, verse six of Colossians chapter three, because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the son of disobedience. If we are one of those, uh, or if we are one of the people who is doing that work, this is a reminder or a warning to us. That the wrath of God is coming to the son of disobedience. Yeah, let's go. Now. Next is put off the old ways. Yeah, this is the idea. In, in verse 8 of Colossians chapter 3 it says, But now you yourself are to put all of this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Who created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor circumcised, barbarian, Sicha, slave nor free, but Christ is all in all. Yeah. First is this is what we need to put off in our ways, in our old ways. First is anger. Okay. Related, no? Lahat naman po tayo nagagalit. The definition of anger is it's an emotion characterized by antagonism toward someone or something you feel has deliberately done you wrong. If you think you feel that that other person or someone did something wrong to you, what you this is not the definition of anger. You can anger to the one who give you a gift or something makes you joy. It's not. But this is the definition of anger. Amen? So, alam na, check, check, no? So, we need to put that old ways. Next, wrath. Ito pa, mas level up daw to ng anger. Wrath. It's great anger that expresses itself in a desire to punish someone. But my in the anger by word mo lang siya galit na no, galit ka but in wrath see it's said in a desire to punish someone it means it's like a meron ka na talagang sobrang galit na nararamdaman dun sa tao yun so that is wrath next malice desire to cause pain injury or distress to another so, ibig sabihin, gusto mo nang malaki. Actually, this word, no? in, you know, in the Tagalog, you know, this malice, you're always correct, and the others is wrong. Why? You know, in our Tagalog, malicia. Ikaw lang tama. Right? Kaya, see, the, the reason why you want always to cause pain to that person, si malicia. But, seriously, this malice, we should put to death or to put off. Amen? My eyes break your tongue. I'm not serious. Blasphemy. As I said, no, whatever sins that we commit, if we will confess and we repent, can forgive. But this is just a reminder. There is only one sin that cannot forgive by God. And that is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Just unlock, that, 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 that. But this blasphemy is the action or offense of speaking sacrilegiously about God, of 
of four sacred things. So, like what I said, no? if, or if you know someone, especially those people na sinesira natin, diba? and they are still keeping rejecting the word that you are sharing. Who is the word? Jesus. You are sharing Jesus to them. Amen? And if they are rejecting, imagine like what I said, that blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is not pinakatawad or di na unforgiven. Tapin tayo. Next is filthy language. This can include insult, lies, harsh speech, or even gossip. Ano yung gossip? Yung ano yung mga marites. Diba? Filthy language daw pala yun. Amen? So, if we are also insulting someone, if we are think that we are above to all people, that is wrong. We should humble ourselves. Amen? And we should not also lies. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, ang ganda-ganda mo at ang guwapo-guwapo mo. Kakasabi ko lang ha? Amen. And also harsh speech. Amen. Actually, I uh, just want to share that uh, you know that our son King already here now. And while they are still in Philippines, you know, how me and Kaili, you know, that our tone, the way we are talking, it's like, you know, the, our pitch is in the key of, uh, key of D. But, uh, what I told to I mean, or to my wife that when King is here, we should change this. No, we need to put all these old ways. Because, why? He will think that that is the proper way of communication to my parents. Imagine that one. He is also a key of <laughs> So, and also, that is a very good thing that our son is here. And praise to be, praise be to God. Amen. So, I just want to share this from the John chapter 11, verse 38 to 44. This is the story about Jesus raised Lazarus from death. Do we know that, no? Uh, this is familiar to us because this is the example of Jesus who raised the person from death. Amen? It says there, Jesus once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man. By this time, there is a bad odor, for he has been there for days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Next. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefits of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man come out, his hands and feet wrapped with strip of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, Take off the grave clothes and let him go. If you, if you notice, in that part, I may emphasize. And now I, want, I just want to em more emphasize about this verse 38 and 39. Or 39. Take away the soul. Take away so, this is our old ways or wrong ways. And also our sin hindering us. This is, we are, when we are not accepting Jesus in our life. How could we Because in our life, when we are on the darkness, imagine Cain, 
He was he Lazarus. He is in the grave, on the grave, and there's a big stone, right? So he's in darkness. Same as when we are in darkness, the stones that hindering us. No, Jesus cannot enter to our life and to our heart because of our sin. That's why I give example that stone that that is our sin and our old ways. Amen. Because it mentioned there no si Martha. Jesus, He is there for four days. That is the problem when we are on that sea. Because we don't want umaling asa ng tabo. Yung ating baho. No? We, we are keeping to hide that sin. And we don't want to accept Jesus. And we don't want uh, Jesus to lead us into repentance. That is the problem. Amen. That's why it's, when I read that one, it's a very good example for this message. Next, in verse 44. Take off the grave clothes and let him go. So, we need to put off our old ways as we are once dead, but now born again to Jesus. We need to remove the clothes from grave and live as a new grace. Imagine Jesus commanded the people around Lazarus to remove a cloth. What does it mean? It means that's why the fellowship is very important to us to remove that kind of sin. That cloth from that grave. When we are still on that grave. Diba? Hindi naman sinabi eh, that Jesus he didn't mention that, okay, Lazarus, remove your clothes from grave. What he mentioned there? Let him rip up. Sorry. Here. See? The dead man came out, his son and picked up with his uh, strip of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Amen. And in the other translation, there is more, like we can say that we really need also other people, especially our brethren. Amen. Because they are the one who will help us and encourage us not or not to go back, amen, to the life that we have before when we are still in that darkness. Amen. We are already alive like Lazarus. Amen. Amen. So the day that I was a new now as a new uh, a new man, a new creation. Because we already raised with Christ. Amen. There should be a new character as a new man. Amen. It says in uh, Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 14, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercy, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all this, Put on love, which is one of perfection. So let us talk about the elect. Yeah. Oh, sorry, there's 15 and 17. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in your in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in songs and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord, and whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father to you. Yeah. Therefore, in verse 12, therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercy, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering, corruption, as Colossians 3.12 Yeah, Ile, 
In Greek word, it means is eklestos, pertaining to being selected, chosen or chosen. Imagine we are selected. Amen. So God see. Ganon tayo tinitingnan nila. Ganon niya tayo mahal. Holy is hagios means dedicated to God. Holy, sacred, that is reserved for God and God's service. Next is beloved, is agapa or love. Think of the immense status there is in being greatly loved and cherished by the creator of the universe and the savior of mankind. That's God how he loved us. Na cherish pa no? Amen. So, number three. Third point, put on the things, put on the new garments. So, we already unclothed, no? We already removed the old garments that we have before. So, because we are God's people, we are to clothe ourselves with the character of Christ. So, we need to clothe. Like what I said a while ago, the early part, that we need to unclothe the old clothes that comes from the, our brain and we need to clothe the character of Christ. We are to take all the old clothes and to put the new clothes, the Christian virtue that brings honor to our Savior. So, sabi dyan, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercy, kindness, humility, long suffering. Ayan. I give you uh, the definition in true guru guru of Bilisana. Kindness, the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. So that is the kindness. Humility, the quality of or state of being humble. Ang opposite nito ay pride. Amen. Meekness, a condition of being meek or submissive. And the opposite is rebellious. Diba? So, pag nakita mo yung katabi mo, walang imik, talagang nag-uuma po siya ng meekness. Hindi na siya umimik. So, long suffering, helping or showing patience in spite of trouble, especially those caused by other people. Imagine your long suffering, and then you didn't mention short suffering. Yung pasensya mo, ganun na lang kahaba. Amen? Even the other causing you something or giving you a trouble or problem. Amen? But it didn't mention, you know that, 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 what is the meaning of that, that in the mathematics? Who are the mathematicians here? Infinite, right? So, but it mentioned that long suffering. Habaan natin yung pasensya. Kung kailangan magbaho kayo ng isang sakong pasensya, magbaho kayo. Because, our brethren, we cannot avoid, you know, this kind of feelings to one another. But let's pray that this kind of new garment, every one of us, we must grow. Amen? Now, we mention characters, qualities that are necessary for a healthy Christian community. Mention the name of the support. Whether it be a church or a family, forbearance and forgiveness. In verse 30, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as, a, as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. If someone or your brethren, our brethren, like uh, did something to you, remember how Jesus, how God forgave your sin. Sino ka para hindi magpatawad? Amen? Natin. In 14, above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which also you were called in one body. And be thankful, let the word of Christ bless you richly, wisdom, teaching, admonishing one another, in psalm and hymn and spiritual song. Sing with grace in your hearts to the Lord, and whatever you do in the word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to the God, to God, to Father, to Him. So, to summarize this one, we need to put everything by love, by the love of God, and by the peace of God. Amen. And we should be thankful to each one of one another. Walang mataas, walang head. 
Amen. We need to submit to one another as well. Imagine, you remember the abbreviation of health? Diba? Help to one another, encourage to one another, learn to one another, pray to one another, strengthen to one another. Because iron sharpen iron. If you are, if you think that that person is a wood and you are an iron, he or she cannot make you sharp. Amen? Amen? Summary na. But before that, brother and sister, um, let, I just want to share a very simple uh, message that might you also uh, notice that there is a lot of people, especially proclaiming that they are Christian, self proclaim that they are Christian, but you never see them, never see them. And others, you never see them in the church. And you never they never pray as well. And, and I pray and I hope and I believe that no one from this congregation and through Sudan proclaim they are Christian, but then they never read the Bible. And also, they never um, assume responsibility. Amen? Like, the problem is like this. Uh, let's say the CMA ministry, we need a uh, worship leader. Kung sino pa yung uh, magandang boses, ayoko! Nasa to wala yung pagano niya, ano, pag-reject niya. But for those who are out of tune, ako na, pastor! Ako na! What does it mean? Because of the desire of the heart. That's why, personally, I really praise God for the lives of our CMA. Imagine, most of the instrumentalist worship leader, the his the background, they don't know how to play the instrument. But because of their desire, imagine, they are playing in front of us, singing in front of us. Because we are serving, we are doing this for the Lord. Amen. So and also they never bring people, especially their family. Amen. And they never give for the mission. We remember when we have the mission and we need to, you know, give some operating. Amen? And this is the problem. They are proclaiming that they are Christian. They are followers of Christ. And of course, if you ask them, they are going to heaven. And now you will ask me, hey, we have those things by works. But in the Ephesians 2, 8, 9, it says, For by grace, you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. This is the gift, gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one can boast. Oh, see, Kuya, by grace. Brother and sister, if you want to go to heaven, to be a citizen of heaven, right now, starting now, if you want to go there, we need to live a heavenly lifestyle. It should be our habit. Amen. Because there, we are all worshippers. So, ngayon pa lang, mag-practice na tayo. Amen? So, as a summary, Lana. Yeah, summary, things that we need to put to death of oh, when following Jesus, put to death your flesh, put off the old ways, put on the new garments, so, what those things? That their mercy, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another, put on love, feast of God, be thankful, wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another in psalm and hymns and spiritual song. Amen? But before I end up this, because I just want to share uh, a part of conclusion is very short. So, Kuya Reds, can I invite Kuya Reds to play the keyboard? It's very simple. And when we will sing this song, I just want to you, brother and sister, because we will follow Jesus, right? So we decided to follow Jesus. Let us be the as a declaration of our life. Amen?
So remember that those new garments that we need to cloth, this is the part of our this song. Amen.
in your character, oh God. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord. If there's someone who hate, hate us, Lord, we will love them more, oh God. God, if there's someone who curse us, Lord, we will bless them, oh God, because this is the way of living that you want us to do, oh God, Lord. And Lord, as we proclaim, oh God, as we as your servant, Lord, as your follower, oh God, right here in this moment, Lord, we just need, Lord, to to live according to your to your will, O God, the heavenly living, O God, but not, Lord, the worldly living, Lord. Lord, once again, we thank you, Lord, for the lives of each, everyone. Lord, when we praise you, we give you glory. This our pray in the mighty of Son, the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.